Hello YouTube. Today I will show you how to install electric engine heater. Now what it does, uh, it's connected to your uh, electrical socket and it preheats the coolant in your engine. So if you live in a cold climate and you have cold temperatures minus this will give you an easier start and quicker heat in your cabin since it brings up the temperature of your coolant so this is of course after the installation but you're gonna see me installing the plug on the bumper and putting the actual block heater in the coolant line so hopefully it helps someone so we're gonna get started now if you go to Volvo accessory web page and you go to comfort climate that's the option electric engine heater so that's what it what it does it says over here and there's the part numbers and I'm gonna follow those instructions over here uh, which covers XC60 V70 and XC70 so I'm going to follow all these instructions which will help me and that's the package there is the part number if you need it let's open it up so it comes with the cord there is your heater so what it does it cools it uh, warms up the the coolant 20 degrees above the outside temperature this one is, has this nice nice uh, plug socket which is gonna be cut out on the bumper and that's not related That's the inner cable, that's the plug on the bumper and all the stuff over here. So. So now we're going to remove the cable for the fog lamp. So now we're going to remove the five Torx 25 on the liner. So next step is to remove this 10 mm nut. So next step is to remove the three screws underneath and then remove the bumper. First of all, we want to bend the liner away.
and this piece just work around with a uh, weather tool so I want to just help you out here because it wasn't fun if you look at this section of the bumper there's your uh, um, cut out for the for the plug it's marked so this is the axis that you need over here now to take it apart there is a uh, one clip second clip third one and this one this was the one that was really hard to pull out and at the same time you wanna separate this piece here there is your uh, cutout template I'm gonna slowly cut around the perimeter so this way this is gonna be just like that Well, if you can do better, go ahead. So to be honest, it's just so much easier using the heat. Easy. So the next step is to shred the cable and uh, attach the nut and secure the cable on the washer fluid reservoir. So let's do that. So the socket is in place and let's throw what's from behind. You can see the big nut. Don't go too crazy on it because it's gonna pull on the bumper and then you insert the cable to the washer reservoir over here. There's a place and you route the ground in front of the subframe. So now we're gonna attach the ground here. So 
so the ground is attached and to give you an idea of where it is it's over here Sure. That's it. So, what I did, I skipped draining the coolant. Now, I took this hose and I made a cut, as they say, I made an approximate cut over here and I made it leak out. So now this paruki patichet panaju. This is not cut away, but so the coolant is draining from. I don't know if it's closer. Right. See what I did? I just cut it out. So for some reason one screw was missing. So I had to drill out and make my own. So this plate is gonna hold the heater So you can see that I didn't have to detach it, I just made a cut and this is where it's gonna be screwed over here later and now I'm gonna be cutting the top part which can be seen easily how much to cut. So let's tighten this clamp for now. So there is another clamp. And then... And I have to have two hands to make it tight. So let's do that. So now I'm gonna use this bolt. to install it over here and I'll need two hands for that so I did connect the two hoses I did uh, attach to the oil pan with that bolt Now it says to attach it over here. So just like that. So it's all done. All routed. So now we're gonna put coolant in. So now I'm gonna be making 50-50 antifreeze. 50-50 will give you up to minus 37 degrees. We get here minus 30 where I live.
So coolant is in and I want to make it bleed and while it's doing I took away the liner and I'm gonna be rust proofing everywhere over here so all done I'm gonna put it back together so that's pretty much it so I did put the liner back and there's the plug that's the cord just like that that's how long it is I also did oil change because everything was removed anyway and that's pretty much the job if you have any questions um, just message me and I will try to answer it as soon as possible and I hope this video helps someone thanks for watching